Hi, this is Natalie Rydstrom from SBR Picks. Premier League teams Crystal Palace and Liverpool battle it out on Saturday in the FA Cup. The last time Crystal Palace hosted Liverpool was back in November, where they beat them 3-1. What can we expect this time around? Well, SBR contributor and William Hills in play radio host Lee Phelps joins us now to give us his predictions for the match. Now, Lee, how much of last meeting are you using to analyse this match? Yeah, I mean, it was an interesting one, wasn't it? Because, if, of course, I think we previewed that game, actually, Natalie, and it followed the 3-3, didn't it, last season, which cost one of the reasons it cut Liverpool lost the title. Uh, not too much. I mean, I think Liverpool are a much better team than they were when they lost to 3-1 uh, in this fixture in the Premier League. I think the, if you look at the form recently, you know, they, they seem a lot better in their positions. Um, uh, Chan looks great in defence. He stepped forward into midfield in midweek against Tottenham and looked better almost there. Tino's in great form. Um, Sterling's been in good form. Obviously, he's kind of just struggling with an injury at the moment. And your Surridge is back. Even Balotelli scored in the week. You know, shock horror, his first Premier League goal for Liverpool. Obviously, they've still got Gerrard in the team. I think he's hell-bent on winning the FA Cup in his final season with the Reds. Uh, so, I think they've got a lot of form players. Um, and I, actually, I think Crystal Palace picked up a lot when Alan Pardew took over. Um, and, you know, regular viewers and readers of, uh, of, of the articles will know that I wasn't a big fan of Crystal Palace early on in the season. I think, the, I think bringing Pardew in will probably save them from relegation. Um, but the form has started to drift a little again. You know, the, you look at the home form, it's not great. You know, not many wins at home. Um, and I wonder if they'll put out a full-strength team here, Natalie. Premier League survival, FA Cup run. You've got to go a Premier League survival. And they still probably need 13 more points from the remaining games, 13 games, maybe 10. Somewhere between 10 and 13 points will keep them in the division. So, uh, yeah, again, team news is important with these kind of games. If Crystal Palace make four or five changes, then I'd be looking at a good Liverpool win. If mm -hmm. it's two full-strength teams, I still think Liverpool will win, but I think it'll be close. Yeah. Well, Liverpool uh, priced uh, quite nicely here, uh, 2.1, uh, the draw 3.6 and Crystal Palace 3.8. Uh, would you take uh, the Liverpool win as a single bet? Yeah, I think so. Wouldn't be that price in the Premier League. If this is a Premier League match, Liverpool would be odds on. So yeah. I'd definitely take the Liverpool price. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's nice, you know, and, you know, again, another way of, if you, if you think Liverpool are going to win, but Palace will score, then it's a nice way of, you know, the both teams to score Liverpool win, not Liverpool win over 2.5 goals, or a, a goal scorer in the Liverpool win. There's, I think because of that price, you get some nice value about the game. But, um, yeah, I'd be happy just Liverpool win. And uh, I think, you know, a bit like Manchester United, a bit like Arsenal, this is a major trophy for Liverpool this year. Can't win anything else. Maybe the Europa League, but unlikely. They've got a long way to go in that competition. You know, they're getting quite close now to the uh, to the uh, the really big stages of the FA Cup. So I think Liverpool will be fully focused and at full strength for this one. Mm -hmm. What are, you, are there any other markets you're looking at for this match? Well, there was a couple. Yeah, I mean, it, Daniel Sturridge, if he plays, I think uh, he's be, he's getting very close to scoring against Tottenham. Uh, Liverpool won three two, and he didn't score, but he hit the post and he had lots of chances. Probably should have scored. Just slowly coming back to form, has scored already on his return. So I think you know he's he's priced up at two point four seven to five to score in the game. I think that's good because he's a he's just a great goal scorer. Thirty eight goals in fifty six games for Liverpool. It's some record really, uh, considering how many injuries he picks up as well. And the other one is a, is a is a second half goals bet. Um, if you look at, I'm just going to remind myself of this this stat just so I make sure I get it right. Uh, Palace have only scored one first half goal in their last five matches. Uh, whereas Liverpool, they had a terrible game at Old Trafford where they conceded three first-half goals. And since then, which was in mid-December, they've only conceded one first-half away goal since that. That's eight games worth. So very few first-half goals um, scored by Palace. Very few for Liverpool, either way. It's 2.2, 6-5 to five for the second half to be the highest scoring. I can see that. I can see Palace starting out and being quite... I don't see this being an open game. Liverpool content to sit in, hit on the break. Palace not really pushing forward too much. So a KG first half, yeah. and then Liverpool getting the job done in the second half would be mine there. So if Sturridge plays, he's my favourite bet. If the team needs to come through and he doesn't play, I'd go for that second half bet. OK, wonderful. Lee Phelps, thank you for joining us today. No problem.